Good morning, my name is Mike. This foxhound behind me is Ferry, and we're going on another adventure like we do most days. I like to take her to stimulating areas that will kind of excite her and get her nose full of new smells because that's what keeps a dog, uh, you know, mentally healthy. But to keep her physically healthy, I put something on her called Attractive GPS Tracker. And it is on her 24 seven and I keep it on her just in case she runs away, I know where she is. Now Attractive has sent me the new tracker. It's called the XL. Really, it's not much different than the old tracker, except it's thicker and wider and has a bigger battery, but it looks very similar. And uh, I don't notice much of a difference when it comes between the two besides the battery life. And uh, it doesn't make any difference in the application. So since it's a little too big for her collar, I have not attached it to her. I'm using the old tracker right now and it works just fine. But what the selling feature on this is, is just the application. That's probably my favorite part of it. Like the hardware is the hardware and it hasn't changed much. The application is constantly changing and being involved, like evolving. And that's what I want to focus on today. So we're going to go to the dog park and I'm going to show you how this Tractive app can measure her exercise. So let's get to that, shall we? So I've had several hounds. Actually, I think Fairy's probably the uh, 10th, 9th, 10th, 8th, something like that. I've had several of them. We foster a lot of them. We rescue, well, they're all rescues. And the thing with hounds, is that they're notorious for running away. I mean, they, they smell something, they follow that scent, and they are gone. So like I said, this isn't going to bring them back by some miracle. You actually have to go out and find them. But the fact that you know where they are, I mean, it gives you peace of mind, is what I'm trying to say. All right, so Fairy wants to go back there. She's going to run around like crazy, and I'm going to track the exercise. But the problem is I'm filming on my phone and I can't track the exercise and record at the same time. So we'll have to follow up with this in a few minutes. When you look at the snow coming down, it doesn't feel like spring anymore. Winter is here. Now here is a prime example of where I can't find the dog. Oh, there she is, right up there. She's waiting for me at the gate. Straight ahead. <laughs> anyway, if I didn't have the app, well, if I didn't see her, but if I didn't have the app, I would be using it right now to track her. Okay, let's uh, go see how much of a workout she got. Fairy, were you waiting for me at the gate? Are you wondering why I'm taking so damn long here? You've already run it all. Is that because there's no other dogs here today? Is that because there's no other dogs here today? Hey, is that why? So this here is the regular Tractive, right there. Like I said, which I use every day 24 seven on her. And then the larger XL, it's just a little too big for this collar. But and a little too big for her, I think, as well, too. But if you do go on adventures that might require you to be away from a charger for more than three or four days, I would recommend the XL. Fairy and I, we're normally only gone for about 24 hours anywhere we ever go. Now let's get into the details of this really quickly. The tracker itself, the Tractive GPS tracker, you do have to purchase it. It's right here. And if you do want access to all the features it has, you have to get the subscription. And the, script, the subscription is not exactly expensive, but you know, it's one more subscription to add to your daily cost of doing anything. But uh, you know that old saying with animals, if you can't afford the vet, you can't afford the pet. So animals aren't cheap. That's all there is to it. I mean, you got to pay for them. You got to pay for their safety and their food and their checkups and everything else that goes along with them. And this is just one more expense. But uh, like I said, I call it peace of mind because I I feel a lot more secure knowing that she's on the tracker 
than uh, when she's not on the tracker. Because <laughs> the first few times we've lost dogs, man, the amount of stress and panic that sets in, it is like level nine, right up there. But when you got the tractive on her, providing you remember to actually make sure it's charged and put it on her, then you feel pretty much a lot better about it. You feel a lot safer. You feel more in control of the situation. Anyway, Fairy, you liking that? Does that feel good? Okay, so we'll leave it at that. The tracker itself, the Tractive GPS tracker, it's fantastic technology. And uh, there's a lot of things I do like about it. This is so much better than using an air tag or a tile because I've used both of those and I found that they just did not work when the pet is moving or if you're in a situation or a location where there's no other people around because they require other Bluetooth devices to really make that connection. This doesn't because it actually, well, I'm not sure if it uses satellites to be honest or if it uses a SIM card built inside there. Maybe we'll pop one open really quick to take a look. Quick little sidebar, this is the original Tractive and we're gonna take it apart really quick. It does use a T4 screwdriver right there. I always suggest you get a good screwdriver set. I've undone them all, but I have not looked inside it yet. Try not to stick anything metallic inside here, just cause. Okay, so what do we have here? That must be the GPS trick by U-Blocks model SARA-U201. C and Q71, and then we have another blocks device over here. So that's the antenna. Those are the two ports for the antennas. You can see it actually marked right there. Antenna three and antenna two. And then back here, we got the battery and the charging. And now we know, but I'm curious, is that a SIM card inside there? If I was to pull that out, what would be underneath it? Well, I'll we'll save that for another day. So now you know. But uh, it works really well. And I've gone some pretty remote places. And this has always picked up a signal. So that's why I like it. That's why I keep using it. And that's why I preach it to probably every dog, well, hound owner at dog parks that I see. Just because I know how hounds are. They are a mind of their own. And they just run once they get a scent of something. And this does give you, speaking of pop-ups, this does pop up in your phone and tells you the battery level. So if it's starting to run low, then it pops up and says, hey, you better charge this thing. Now the downside to that is it's proprietary charger. So this is the original Tractive here. And like I said, they do have these proprietary connectors. So that's what charges this one here. Now the Tractive XL uses something completely different Looks like it tracks this way. So that's how the Tractive XL charges. The fact that I have to remove this though, that's kind of a tick off. Cause what if you lose this while you're tracking? And the fact that these are so different. I mean, if you lose one, have you lost both? Will that charge like that? I don't know if it will. Anyway, this is probably my biggest downfall for me. I wish there was some kind of USB-C option where they could just cover it up or, or even if I could charge it on something like this, that would make life so much easier. That's one thing that just bugs the heck out of me. The fact that you need to use a special charger with it, it's not like USB-C or anything, but that's what makes it waterproof and uh, the climate, climate proof, that makes sense. Makes it uh, what I call nature resistant because dogs go everywhere. And there's only one time that she's actually knocked it off there. And that was when we first put it on her. But uh, since then, it's been just a life-saving device. Okay, so that's the video. If you like this video, I'll leave another video right there of my initial review of the Tractive GPS tracker. Tractive did provide the XL to me. Actually, they provided this one to me too. But I do pay for the subscription, so it's not like it's a freebie. If you do decide to purchase this using the Amazon links below, I will get a small commission and I appreciate that because it does support the channel and I'm an unemployed bum. So 